we had a visit today from the scary guy. At first, when he came in, I was really a bit like I was a bit scared and all that. When I first saw him, I thought, wow. And then he started talking about like what he was here for. It was good. The elimination of hate, violence, and prejudice worldwide. It was funny with a great message. You guys imagine me at 14 years old. <laughs> oh, cause I've learned a message like not to make fun or anything. He said that can't judge somebody as a whole solely by their behaviour. If you don't like it, then you say, I don't like the behaviour, but you can still love the person. It just made me learn how to respect people. What's your name? James. Damien? James. Look at Matthew, sorry. <laughs> You're on the Seven Day Challenge, James, alright? Don't assault me, dude. Sorry. It's okay, man. You don't have to apologise, man. Do you want to hug me instead? Yeah, one. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can do his seven day challenge and actually not be sarcastic and instead of saying I don't like that person just because I don't like how they've behaved, actually think about it and say, well no, I don't like the way they've behaved. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad person. For seven days and seven nights, don't say one negative word about another human on this planet. For seven days, seven nights, don't call another person a name other than their own. You're on the challenge. I know it can be tough. There aren't any excuses. Just do the best you can. And oh, by the way, I get emails and letters from kids telling me, oh, I went four days, scary guy, and then I failed the challenge. Kids, you can't fail. You make your amend, get on with the program. This is about you learning who you are. What are you doing with the words when you hear them? Are you processing them and taking them on and becoming affected by other people? Or are you making a decision to understand that's their energy, their words belong to them? You have a choice. Keep up the good work. Walk away from situations, just don't let it come into you. Like you choose the food that you eat, you can choose the words that you want to hear. Dame Elizabeth Cadbury Technology College was right on the money. Very slowly, you shake it this way, then you roll it up into the thumb shape, then you come on back down to the regular shape, then you slide it off the end and do the grip shape, then you roll your fist over and lightly touch this way, then you do one elbow, then you bring in two elbows, then you do the hip. Boom! Yeah! Kids rock. I love you guys. I'm coming back. I don't care what the head teacher says. I don't care what Eleanor says. I don't care what Mike says. I don't care what Amy says. I don't care what any of them say. I'm coming back to the school and we're going to work the second level program with you guys. So keep up the good work. The only way I can get back here is if you guys do the job. Keep up your 16 hugs and your seven day challenge. How did it go today? It went awesome. I loved it. Didn't it? Listen, I belong to 27 social networks and Bebo, you know, you familiar with Bebo? Bebo.com forward slash T H E S C A R Y, the number one. The scary number one. Not the number, just one. The scary one. Okay? Come and be my friend. You got questions, you got thoughts, you got ideas. Man, you want to share the love on Bebo? I'm here. Just sign up, be my friend, and we'll chat, we'll talk. You got anything else you want to say? Oh, by the way, join the social network, the World Peace Social Network. And the teachers and Eleanor and everybody's going to share that kind of data with you. So I look forward to talking to you guys over there too. We have a world peace social network. It's called http colon forward slash forward scary guy dot ning dot com. And it's on the paperwork. You guys can check it out. You join up, you create your own profile, upload your own pic, and then you have to go out and invite friends. There's comments in there, there's blogs, there's forums. You can upload your own videos, you can upload your own music. It's really a cool place. You're going to meet people from all over the world. So when you're a member and you see new people come on, make sure you go and welcome them on the World Peace Forum and the World Peace Network. And it'll be cool to see you on there. Make sure you invite me to be your friend there too. The learned behavior right now, the learned behavior, this is what I'm talking about, learned. 
Everybody is learning the same way of reacting to everything they see and hear. All the words and all the actions. Most people are learning to react to what comes at them every day. And I'm here to tell you, I'm like way out of the ballpark here, way different with it. That's a 180 different. Uh-uh. None of it's mine. It lives outside my body. I choose to respond. I'm not going to react. When I react, it means I've taken on what's coming at me, and then I have to, oh, wait a minute, i got to become that negative energy and put it right back out there just to get it to stop. That's the lie. None of that belongs to me. I didn't create it. I have the power to understand that, and I respond. In fact, you can go one step further. You can love all people and decide whether or not you want to be around their behavior. There's so much of this stuff going on, all the suicides and the killing and the name call. But see, it's okay if you're name calling and laughing, see? And a group of people think that's okay and that's hip and cool. But the bottom line is that's all rotten negative energy and it impacts people. You never know who it's impacting and how it's impacting them. And people think that that stuff is the way it is. And I'm saying, oh, wait a minute, that's a lie. We're living these lies every day. People have to get conscious of the facts. So, okay, all right, we can't stop everybody's mouth from talking. That's the truth. But the truth is we can empower the mind to choose what they're hearing and understand that not everything you hear belongs to you. There, you didn't create it all. Just like you choose your food, you choose what you become inside your mind. When somebody else speaks, understand that right now. Do you have any normal sort of feel that you do? Or spiel? You know, <laughs> when you get interviewed, do you normally have a set? <laughs> Spiels rock. Put that on the tape. Yeah. Rock and spiel roll. 